Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a lot to get done today. I'm gonna try to make this just one day video because I need content. I'm gonna be out next week, towards the end of the week, so I don't know if I'm gonna have two videos for you guys or not. I'm gonna try my best to record as much as I can this week so that way I can have for next week, but I'm definitely gonna be out for a couple of days. All right, so today for, wait, why is it not locked in? Oh, for Etsy, on Etsy, I have seven orders. Let me just double check. Yes, seven orders. Then I have an order outside of Etsy, which is through me directly. And at some point, I have to work on some Capri Sun labels. That's not something I offer. If you guys watched the video that I first made the chip bags and the labels, I would never do that again. But because this is something that's personal, I'm like, okay, it's not going to be sold or anything. It's me gifting it. But that's going to be towards the end of the week. It doesn't have to be done today. Today, what we have to do is work on these orders from Etsy. I also have to start designing. I'm trying to think. For the other order, should I design today? We'll see how I get through with all of these orders. And that'll determine if I'll be able to start designing today. I have one, two, three four tie-dye cake toppers one dozen yellow smiley faces and one dozen blue smiley faces and for the first time i got a cow print number ordered i'll show you guys later on but if i have a picture i'll post it right here i posted these a while ago and one finally sold so i'm super excited about that yeah that's all so i'm just gonna try to record as much as i can today how many minutes do i have Usually when I do like the one day videos, they're not as long as my other videos, but we're going to try to get through as much as we can today. I'm still half asleep. It is so hot today. <sighs> I washed my hair and it's already dried. That's how freaking hot it is. Let me start on these. Oh, I also, <sighs> I'm going to make a list and I'll show you guys because I have some other stuff to add to the list. I have to edit a video so that it could post tomorrow and I have to clean this up. So let's make a list and then we'll work on getting this cleaned up. So I've listed all of the Etsy orders. That's going to be our main focus today. I also have to edit the video. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. I still don't know what it's going to be called. I don't know the title, the thumbnail. Oh, I have to make the thumbnail as well. But this is usually done at nighttime. And today the kids might have practice. I don't know. We're expecting a rainstorm or thunderstorm. So I don't know if they have practice. But if they do, perfect. Because I can edit while they have practice. If not, then I'll do it sometime later on today. All right. So now that we have our list situated, I got to clean this up. It's not too bad. Like this mess is not a lot. So I just have to put stuff away. Especially these. Because I have a whole bunch of these. And I also want to record a little video for that. Because I'm doing like a restocking video on social media.
As you guys saw, I cleaned everything up. I just have to put these away. But I am doing that social media video. And this is all of the packaging that I'm going to use. Because I think I did um, restocking these things. Which are my little cupcake topper sticks. I also restocked... What else did I restock? Oh, my thank you cards. I don't know if I shared this before, but I did buy a whole bunch. I ended up getting 500 of them. So I restocked that. And now I'm going to restock my bubble mailers because I got a whole bunch. My credits were expiring. So I had to get, I had to use them up before they expired. I have some more over there. But um, I had a little issue this time with some of them. Maybe all of them. I don't know. But look, they printed this red line on each package. And I mean, it's not that big of a deal, at least for me anyway, but it kind of does bother me a little bit. Uh, let's see if they all have them. Oh yeah, look, they all have them. I thought it was just a few of them. So you see how it has that line and then it has these things on some of them. I don't know if that's how they usually are. Oh yeah, that's how they usually are. With the little black things. That's fine, but they don't have, or they haven't had that red line before. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I message Sticker Mule and be like, hey, what is this? I need some advice. I don't know if I should like message them and be like, hey, this happened. Like I said, it's not the biggest deal for me. I mean, it does bother me a little bit, but it doesn't affect the function of the packaging but what if there is somebody out there that wouldn't want this you know so i don't know let me know what you guys think should i hit them up or not so um yeah this is the bubble mailers that i got if you guys do plan on using sticker mule i always have to say this i always have to plug in the ten dollar credit because it comes in handy you also share that ten dollar um credit so if it's your first time, use my link down below. You'll get $10 credit towards your purchase. And then I'll get a $10 credit towards my purchase. And once you get your stuff, you can use your link to send it to other people. If you do use Sticker Mule, I suggest 100% to use the samples. So order the samples of like your logo stuff or your custom stuff before you order bulk. Unless you need bulk. But if you're like first starting out, then I definitely recommend to go with the samples because it's cheaper if you do the samples versus getting like, I think it's a bulk of 100 or something. It comes out more expensive. I also got poly mailers from Sticker Mill. And this one didn't have any issue. No lines, no nothing. I ordered 20 of them. So I ordered two sample packs of 10 each. And guess what? They sent me 10 extra. So I have a total of 30 poly mailers. And then the bubble mailers, I could tell you right now how many I have. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. That's what I ordered. I ordered 10 samples five times, but they sent me two, four, six, eight extras. So with the samples, not only is it cheaper and you get it faster, but they also send you extras. All right, let me put these away and make that video real quick. I printed out all the packing slips. I laid out everything that I need to cut, or not that I need to cut. I laid out everything that I already have cut. The one dozen cupcake toppers, I can cross that off. I can also cross this off because I already have it made. I give myself a visual when it comes to a lot, having a lot of orders like this. That way I could jot down the things that I need. It makes it so much easier for me to do it this way. So let's do that together. I'm just gonna cross off some, some of the things that I have already done. So the yellow and the blue crossed off and that's it. <laughs> that's all I have to cross off for the, the list here. The cow print number one, I do have to cut some pieces for it. Obviously I have to cut the name because the name is different, but I also want to cut with some heavy cardstock the back of the one. So that way I can put it in back because it's a little wobbly. I think this is one of the first ones that I made and the um, adhesive, the pop dots, 
were too much. I don't know how to explain it, but it was, it was too heavy. I should have used something thinner. So I'm just gonna add some balance to the number one so that way it can stay upright without it wobbling too much. Whenever I have issues with the wobbling, I usually add something inside to kind of hold it down to make it heavier but i didn't think that that would be the case until after it was already closed up so that's gonna be my solution for that i'm just gonna add some weight on the back number 10 cake topper number nine nine and then i have to completely cut a number seven and that will be it for all of the etsy orders so definitely feeling good about that because i am going to be able to finish it today and once i get that finished then i can move on to the next things on my list i kind of did them by priority because these are first these have to ship and then um, i do have to work on a wonderful theme but i think i'm gonna work on that tomorrow wednesday and make that its own separate video we'll see how the day goes but that that's actually what i'm aiming for matter of fact let me put it here so that way i can kind of like tell my brain this is what i'm gonna do so one durable topper I put chip bags, but you'll see tomorrow. Or you'll see in the next video. They're not chip bags. Actually, this one doesn't need to be crossed off. So that way my brain can kind of get it in its head. I'm going to make a list of everything I need to cut as far as the pieces. And we'll start cutting. Right now I'm gonna open up the case of the missing gold piece. I don't know where it is. And I double checked in my garbage. I went through the garbage just to see if I had cut the gold piece for this name. And I did. I cut it out. I looked through the trash. Don't worry, there's only paper in there. And I cannot find it. I don't know where it is. I looked everywhere. Look, so I have four pieces here. These are four names, but these are for the tie-dye cake toppers. And then I cut a fifth one to go with this one. And it's gonna go for that number one standalone number over there, but I cannot find it. I cannot find that one piece. And it's driving me crazy because I don't wanna cut another piece again. I could easily just go to my scraps and find a little tiny piece and run it through the machine, but I know I cut it. I have the proof that I cut it. I just do not know where it is. So let's look for it together, guys. I checked the floor. It's not on the floor. I checked the trash. It's not. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's not one of these. These are the white pieces. This is my phone. All right, that goes there. It's not here. It's not underneath. Unless maybe it got mixed up with one of these nines. The seven, no. Hmm. I cannot find it. Is it in here? Maybe it fell in here. Where could it be? It's literally nowhere. Let me check up here. Ow. No, I mean it wouldn't be up here. I don't know guys. I might have to cave in and just make that little piece. This is the proof that I really cut the piece. That's the name. You see how it fits? 
And I think the reason why this is driving me insane is because this always happens to me. It's not the first time, it's not the second, not the tenth. Always happens to me. And I cave in and I cut another piece. And after everything is said and done, I find the piece that I was missing. I think that's what's pissing me off even more. Because I know I'm going to find it. And I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to find it. I caved and I cut another piece. Oh, hi. That's me. I ran out of my bigger logo stickers not stickers logo pieces that i put in the back of my cake toppers so i'm just cutting up more i can also fit smaller ones on the side so that's why i have the smaller ones here i have enough for the smaller ones but i'll stock up soon just not right now right now i need to stock up on the bigger ones for my cake toppers i got the toppers all done one two three four i just have to add the sticks to the back and of course these guys once they're cut i finished all of the toppers as well the coordinating number 10 tie dye toppers that go with this one i have to add the sticks to the back and the little my little logo watermarks to the back as well right now i am just doing the smiley face ones and then i have these stickers for the thunderbolts um i think is that it oh yeah and i finished adding the name to this one i still don't find the gold piece for this one though i've been using this crinkle paper the pink one it's repurposed from a shipment that i got not too long ago this is all that i have left i might have to purchase some crinkle paper because i really like this setup for packaging if it's a dozen up to a dozen cupcake toppers in these little boxes that i have instead of using two of these to put six and six in each and i have a whole bunch of these boxes i've got two dozen no not two dozen a dozen of the tie-dye cake toppers packaged up the matching cake topper did i say cupcake toppers i hope i did hold on let me turn off this fan there we go cake topper one two three and two different smiley face cupcake toppers look how cute these came out i love this i'm definitely going to get some crinkle paper because i ran out i just used up the last of it with these two i think this looks so cute so i'm gonna order some probably on amazon i think that will probably be the cheapest place that i can get it okay so now it's gonna be the moment of truth with um these boxes here i want to see if they fit in here so let's try it out together i don't think they're gonna fit ah they don't fit i'm gonna have to use a poly mailer for this one The shipping label could go in here i used to send cupcake toppers like this before when i had these poly mailers and i would send them in this box box is pretty sturdy like it'll keep it if it does get crushed or you know something falls on top of it or whatever it's sturdy enough where it'll keep the cupcake toppers safe Alright, so I'll do poly mailers for these two. Yo no sé por qué, I always forget that two of these boxes do not fit in this box. In the, the box that I use for shipping. <laughs> no matter what I do, it doesn't fit. There's no way. So I'm going to have to be creative and come up with something because I really don't want to purchase a box for this order. I could use a poly mailer, but cake topper i'm afraid i figured it out i just put them like this <laughs> on a um clear backing or not backing clear bag i just did six and six so there you go the dozen and the, cut, the cake topper is underneath and whatever remaining little crinkle paper i had that i had in here i just i'm gonna spread it around and then i'll add the thank you no on top and all is well solves my problem and i don't have to go buy another box or anything like that
time to go over our list. I have finished the number 10, the top is to go with it, number 9, 9, 7, the cow print, and these are already crossed off. So I need just these two, but that's going to be later on. As far as orders, they're all ready to go there. All I have to do is, um, oh wait, I have to print the shipping labels. These are already closed up, but the boxes aren't. I just need the tape here. I write their names really, really small. That way I know what package belongs to who. I was only able to package up six of the orders because that one over there, my box is not big enough for it. I'm gonna have to buy a box for that one. But these are the six orders here. I created a scan form and all I have to do is go to the post office and drop these things off. Okay friends, we have made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you guys in a couple days.